Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohen, and today I have a video coming from a very different angle. I apologize if this is throwing you off, but this is the way this video had been made for the production of the channel. So, I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, my book covers. I have recently uh, gotten some nice slip covers that I was able to get that make my hard covers look pretty nice. I'm gonna pull out uh, an example. So. Uh, most card covers, you know, they come like this and they have the flaps like this, but uh, sometimes the, the coloring can fade. Also, sometimes when you're reading it, the cover can get um, uh, damaged or it can uh, get fingerprints on it and things like that. And so having a cover like this over time, it's not going to look as nice. The idea behind these coverings that I've gotten, from what I understand from what I've uh, researched online, and I got this idea from the wonderful YouTube channel of Brian Lee Durfee. Um, uh, if you haven't seen his video on this exact same thing, you should. It's very entertaining. Um, he's a he's a great mind and great uh, great booktuber. But he uh, introduced me to the idea of Demco covers, which now you can see this book actually has a uh, a covering on it. Uh, because I was able to get these Demco covers. And so Demco is this company that makes book coverings, and uh, this is what it looks like. The, this is a box of 50 that I was able to get. Uh, I actually asked uh, my family for Christmas. Uh, normally I ask for books or gift cards to bookstores, but I didn't need books because I had so many. I have like hundreds of books I haven't read. So instead I said, can I get some Demco covers? So my, my mother bought me some and my brother bought me some. And so uh, these Demco coverings, uh, you can buy 50 of them for a decent price. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to put one on, and I'm going to demonstrate the process. Now, sometimes this process is not always that, uh, uh, doesn't work well. When I was putting on Demco covers at the beginning of my uh, uh, time working on them, uh, it took me several tries to get it right. In fact, some of them I messed it up horrendously. Uh, for example, on this one that I did, you can see the white uh, the white outline. So you have to be careful when you're folding it to fold it properly. Otherwise, you'll have a white outline or a black outline that you really don't want. Um, uh, and then sometimes it'll work perfectly. So it just depends. Um, uh, so you, it, it, it takes a little bit of practice. But I'm going to do one right here uh, on, on this video to show you what the process is like. So when I get this, I just slip it, uh, one of, I grab one and slip it out of here. And you want to keep it flat, you don't want to do too much, so I'm going to lay it out here. And I'm going to fold this back up and put it away. Next, I'm going to take the jacket off of the book. To me, this is like heresy, you never take a jacket off a book, but I'm going to take it off temporarily so that I can put it back on. The next thing I'm going to do is open this up. You just open the flaps like so. and like so. And uh, they'll fold over a little bit on these ends, so you want to make sure they don't fold over too much. And next you will take your, uh, your, your jacket and you will try to get it flat. It won't work perfectly flat because it's already been bent. Um, uh, unless you're getting this book like hot off the presses, it might uh, work better. But if it's an older cover, it'll, it'll take some finagling. And you fold back over. Now, other videos I've seen haven't explained this properly, but you need to push this in a little bit because otherwise it will leave that gap sometimes. And so you, I've pushed it in, it's pretty solidly in there, and then you fold over this side and it takes a second. And then what I do is I pull it so that there's absolutely no extra uh, at the bottom. And now it's going to cause this area that's up a little bit, and we don't want that. We want it to be smooth. We, we don't want it to be bumpy. So I take the book and I will smooth it out using the book. I will just run it over this section here and a little bit up here, but it's, it's, it's that bottom section that usually requires it. Um, and I'm not even sure if I'm explaining this as properly as I should, but this is a request I got. And then you just fold the flap over and then you fold it over and then you do this and you fold it over again and you put it in, and now you've got this nice fancy Demco cover on the book. Now, the problem is, as of right now, it's really crinkly and it's really kind of uh, elevated. So what I did 
is after I got each book, I set books on top of it like this to try to weigh it down a little bit, and then it looked kind of like this. So after time, this one will look like this one. It'll be nice and smooth on each side, and it's going, it, it really glistens in the light, and sometimes that doesn't always work for YouTube videos, but the idea is that this will help it last longer over time. Uh, the cover won't fade quite as much. It'll keep its coloring, and it won't get all my fingerprints on it as much. I may need to change Demco coverings if my fingerprints get too much on this, but uh, for right now, I think it's fine. Uh, and, you know, what I would suggest is if you're interested in this type of thing, get, get a small package of them and try it out. And if you think it's great, keep order more. And if not, it's not, it's not too big a, a deal. But what I think this does is it, it helps people, collectors like me, especially hardcore collectors, get some nice, uh, keep, keep their books nice. And it also helps people if you want to have something nice in your home, uh, to show off your home, it'll, it'll, it'll make your books pop more on the shelves, in my opinion. I'm sure other people think that this is a terrible thing to do. I'm sure some people think this is awesome. Whatever your opinion is, let me know in the comments section down below. Do you like this type of video? This is kind of different for me, and this angle is totally off from what I normally do. So let me know all your thoughts down in the comments section below, and I hope this helped you out with your hardcover books. So until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.